In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your door and window openings. So we've already got the walls drawn. We've trimmed out all the lines that we don't need to see here. And now we can uh, just come in here. Doors, exterior doors are dimension to the center. So we do have a dimension to the center of the front door right, right down here at the bottom. And it says it's two foot eight inches to the center. And the door itself is three feet wide. So we are going to do the offset command. So we'll click on the offset uh, icon or you can type O, enter. And our distance that we need to offset is two foot eight. Again, you can put inches if you want to, which is the uh, kind of quote symbol, but um, this would do fine. You can press enter after you type in the distance. We're gonna select the, the vertical wall on the very left hand side and we're going to offset it into the cottage. So we'll click anywhere to the right, press enter to end that command. We'll press enter to start the command and we need to go a foot and a half in either direction. So there's lots of ways you can do this. You can type one foot six for one foot six inches. You can actually type in 1.5 feet. It understands decimals, so you can say it's a foot and a half, 1.5 feet, or you could just type one foot six inches. We're going to click on this line and we're going to go a foot and a half to the right. Click on it again. It stays active and it's going to keep going uh, one foot six inches. So we're going to click on it again and click anywhere to the left. We'll press enter to end that command and I've got my um, wall uh, drawn in here. I don't need this middle line anymore. That was just a construction line to kind of help me uh, figure out where the center of it is. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to erase it. You can select it and press the erase icon up here. You can type E enter or you could even press the delete key on your keyboard once you have it highlighted. However you want to do it. Now we're going to do the trim command but this time um, I think what I want to do with that trim command is uh, actually select a cutting edge because I don't want to have to keep trimming little pieces all the way down. So if you are in AutoCAD 2020 or older, you can select right when you start that command, you can select the, the, this, this interior line down there and then press enter and it'll select that as a cutting edge. The thing that changed with 2021 is now it assumes that everything's a cutting edge. So if you want to define a cutting edge, if you look down at the bottom, you see the capital T on the word cutting edges, or you can press your down arrow. You can type in T, enter, because that's the, that's the capital letter, or you can do your down arrow and select it. Now it wants to know what your cutting edge is. So there, click on that line, press enter, and it's going to take that as your cutting edge. Now when I click here, and I click here, it trims that line all the way back to that cutting edge. I'm going to start the trim command one more time. And I'm going to get this wall right here, just the interior wall. I'll press enter. The rest of them we're going to trim all the way through. But this front door does have a line um, for that exterior wall. And what that it represents, you know, even if you were to walk through, it's not like there's a wall right there, but that's the edge of your foundation. So anytime you have an exterior door, you usually see that exterior line there. And that just represents the edge of the house, the edge of the foundation, um, and walking into that, that, um, through that doorway. So the next door that we're going to do is in the bathroom. So we've got a couple of different uh, things to cover here. And um, when you have a door, and this is for residential, when you have a door that's right up next to the wall, that door, a standard size is four inches for that door. And so, I'm sorry, four inches for that spacing from the wall. And so the reason for that is it gives you room for that door trim that's gotta go around the door frame itself. And, um, it also hopefully is going to prevent your door knob to, from making a hole in the wall behind it. And so uh, we are going to do an offset command. It's going to ask us a distance. We'll type in four, enter. We'll take this interior wall and we're going to bring it over four. So that's just defining where the edge of that door is going to be for us. I'll press enter. 
Now, we have this, but we actually need to cut through this, this wall. So, uh, and because I already trimmed that line, it's not actually going through the wall. We can do a couple of things here. We can trim, or I'm sorry, extend this line all the way down, or we can, uh, if we do that, we'll still have to trim out the top. Um, lots of ways that we can handle this. I'm actually gonna get a little bit fancy here. I'm gonna click on this line to highlight it. Now you can grab grips and um, move them. So I'm gonna grab this top grip. I clicked on it to highlight it, and now I'm moving this end of the line, and I am going to just snap down, make sure your perpendicular O snap is on, snap perpendicular. So that prevented me from having to extend the line down and then trim the piece that was up there. It's a little bit fancy. However you get that done, it's okay. So now we're going to offset the width of that door. That door is a two foot door. So I'm gonna do offset two feet. I could have typed in 24 for 24 inches. Click on this line and I'm gonna offset it to the right. Press enter because I'm done offsetting. Trim. If you're using an older version of AutoCAD, if you're using 2020 or older, you are gonna to have to press enter right when you start the trim command. Starting in release 2021, it just jumps right to this. And I can just do the trim command. All right, we have one more doorway to figure out and that one is in the closet. So the next step is covering the, um, the closet opening and that closet is uh, three foot four inches. So I'm gonna do three foot four, enter. I'm gonna click on the inside left line of that closet. And I'm going to just click anywhere off to um, the right to make that offset of three foot four. I'll press enter to end that command. And then I can do what I did before. Actually, I'll do it different this time just so you can see two different ways to do it. I Before, remember I had clicked on the line and then I clicked on this grip and just snapped it down perpendicular. Another way that we could do that is to extend, and extend is buried into that uh, trim command. And with extend, uh, if you're in an older release of AutoCAD, you would press enter here before you do this, but in 2021, we can just click on this edge of the line, this half of the line. It extends down to the next thing it sees. And press enter. And I can do the trim command. Again, you would press enter in release 2020 or older, but in 2021, I just have to click here. So you can see there were a few steps. It was definitely easier to do the grip editing way to do it, but that's a two foot door. So I'm just gonna, that was to the center of the door. Now I'm just gonna do my offset command. So start the offset command. I'm gonna type in one foot, press enter, and I'll click on this line and I'm just gonna offset it one foot in both directions. So to the right, to the left, press enter to end that command. This middle line here was just a construction line, so I'll delete it. I'm gonna select it and just press, I press delete on the keyboard. You could click on the erase icon or type E, enter. And let's see what else. We're gonna trim this wall out and here we go. Press enter and I'm done finding the door openings.